Morning all, two seed six back out again. We are on my new permission. Fourth visit, third different location, new field. Said before, loads of medieval history in the area. So let's see if we can find any with the rootless versa today. As always, thank you for watching T Seed Sex. Hope you enjoy the video. And just over there, somewhere, meant to be a an old farmhouse, or rather the tide map show an old farmhouse sort of that way. Um so one of the reasons for picking this field today. Uh and evidence of occupation already. Surface find looks like the bottom of um, cook, egg cook, something like that. Um, China, um, some age to it. Not sure. You can't see more of it. How old? But probably evidence of the farmhouse. Let's see if we can find more evidence and something interesting. Quite quiet this bit of the field. Farmhouse is over that way, so I'm going to sort of head that way. Now I'm not sure what this is, but the verse picks up about six inches down. Relatively faint signal, but it's quite thin. Some form of... Uh, I don't know what that is actually. A top on it and a bottom looks coppery some age to it it was a nail when i saw it that way around but then obviously it's got a top on sort of extended vivid no idea anybody knows what this mushroomy thing looking thing is please put it in the comments and next up uh is out of that hole there about four inches down I flicked it and saw it move so it's down here it was in the mid 50s on the Versa, running in normal field in uh, multi. And we have what looks to be button or a coin. Button. Let's put another there. Got a shank on the back. See the shank there. Um, Something on that button there. There's a pattern, but because it's bent over, I can't really. Take it out. So maybe a livery button of some description. And that button was immediately followed by first coin of the day. Like a farthing, pre-decimal, bad. Not sure if I'll get anything off it. But I'll try and clean it later and find out. It's quite thin and worn. A bit knocked off the edge there. Yeah, first coin of the day. Right next to uh, where the first coin was, and I mean less than three feet away. It's very clear, 62, 63. Find out what that is. Still showing a 62, 63, and in here somewhere. Yep. Big piece of tin can. Fairly close to a major road, so I would imagine this thing gets thrown in at the bottom end in particular and get moved around the field. Currently right next to, I'll just through those trees. And bushes, a railway line. I have a feeling that this massive, bolty, screwy thing might have something to do with the railway line. Just guessing. And this next signal rang up a very, very, very solid 65. It was so sharp and loud, I thought bound to be trash. Then I realised that. The reason it was so sharp and loud is because it's essentially surface bound. I've not dug anything. You see the edge of it here. Looks 
Right, we've got another coin. Some description. Penny of what have we got here? George the fifth. There we go. Another predecimal for the collection. And that's what the second coin of the day so far. I'll do. See how it all bits when I'm uh, actually moving. It's going around me in a 360. Oh, that's the plan anyway. Oh, there it goes. That was very close. And the next signal was in the mid 20s, 26, 27, quite faint, four inches down. It's this very small, thin thing, sort of like oh, ears, connectors on it. It's very, very thin though. Would have got any ideas? It's tiny, about a centimetre across. I don't think it's massively old, but I'm not sure what it's for. Any ideas? Please put it in the comments. So, next signal, and I just flicked out the clod, is here. A very solid 57 in that little bit there. Let's see if we can do it live. It is very, very, very loud, so there's a reasonable chance it's trash. But what one I thought of that about turned out to be a coin. Uh, and this one looks like it's a hunk of reasonably old, given the whiteness of it, or lead. But some of like that gave us a resoundingly high signal. Just so smashing it on the small thin things. In this case, a very small centimetre across button from about four inches down. Shank intact, some edge to it. Maybe it being been in the past, but pretty much worn off now. And first up after lunch, just had a sandwich and messed about the drone a little bit more. But first up is the buckle. First buckle of the day. That should be off a collar or something, maybe a dog's collar or something like that. Anyway, buckly thing. So I'm walking along. As usual, scanning the ground, surface finds as well as uh, detector finds. The uh, farmhouse is supposed to be theoretically over there, the ruin of it. Nothing there apart from lots of uh, glass, broken pottery and stuff. Get to here, surface find, a leg. Yep, genuine, full on, well, actually, porcelain leg. So, you can even see the toes, I'm not sure if that uh, get picked up by the camera, but uh, yeah, looks like a old porcelain dolls leg a neat little surface find and evidence further evidence of the farmhouse and the, probably the family that lived there nice well as is often the way just as i'm walking off the field i have a really nice signal in the mid 40s uh, and this comes up i'm sure you can see the uh, glass poking out from the middle there it looks like uh, an old, maybe um, 1950s, 1960s uh, eyeglass of some description. Hey, maybe uh, maybe evidence of very early detectoring going on. Also some uh, gilding on the uh, metal case as well. Quite a nice little artifact find to be uh, leaving the field with. And as always, thank you for watching TC Detection. Your support is much appreciated and i will see you on the next hunt